Hi, I'm Rohit Goswami. I'm a doctoral researcher at the University of Iceland, and today I'll be teaching you a little bit about Python, a little bit more about variables. Now, um, I've been programming for over 10 years, and I'm also a certified software carpentries instructor. So please feel free to stop me if I'm going too quickly or pause the video or yeah, just ask anything. Right. So we're familiar with the concept of constants and variables in an abstract manner. We know that we can have a mental model where it's a box and we put values inside the box and we have types, right? Which is what kind of value is being stored in the variable name, right? So we have name boxes with values and we know their type. Now we'll see how this works in an actual Python program. We'll be using a conversion program as our motivating example. It's a simple enough program. You give it a weight on Earth and you get back a weight on the moon. So let's get started. Now this is by convention. We normally like to write our um, constants in capital letters but it's not really required. Now, you've probably seen a lot of places where they write the main function like this, so we keep to that convention. In Python, because it is what we call duct typed, that is, we don't know, the compiler does not know in advance, there's no compiler, what kind of variable we're looking at, it is useful to give it a very descriptive name, right? So that's why earth weight string. And why do we say that? Let's find out. Now, before we can run this, you remember that in Python, there's a little bit of extra tooling required. So when the program is first executed, it will go into something called, it'll look for an area called mean, and we can tell it what to do then. So we're saying, if you go into main, then run main. Now, why are we doing this? We want to see the type, which is returned by the input, right? We have given an input function, and we want to know what is happening. So let's see. And we see that it thinks it's a string, which is good. It probably is, right? But what if we don't want it to be a string? Now, in that case, what if we want it to be a number, right? Because, and why do we do this? Because we know we can't multiply a string in a number, right? So because of that, we will so one way to think of type conversions is to think of them as actual functions, right? So if you think about them in actual functions, what you realize is, okay, I'm giving a string input function, right? I'm giving it a string and I'm making a new box and the new box is getting a new value. And that value has a type, we will see, a float. And why is that? Well, of course, because we demanded it to be so, right? And now, because we know, in fact, let's actually see this. It's one thing to expect something and it's quite another to see it happen. Suppose we just tried to multiply this by a constant. We won't check it here, but the constant is also going to be defined as a type um, float. And here you'll see that you can't multiply something which is not a sequence, non-int type of float. That is, we have a sequence here, the string is a sequence, and we can't multiply it by float. We can multiply it by another float, right? Because that didn't give us an error. And let's see what type we get out of that. We will get guesses of float, right? And now finally, because in many other programming languages, these are separate, we would like to see, we will look at two ways of printing this out. One, you've probably seen this before, is a simple way of printing out multiple variables or multiple objects. That worked, but if we try to concatenate them with a plus, what will we get? We can't do that because one is a string and the other is not. So what we do is that we convert it to a string and there we go and we're done. So we understand from this that what we're really trying to teach the program 
is what sort of value is being inputted, right? Because the functions will only operate on certain kinds, certain types of values, but the type in Python is, it is, as I mentioned, duct type. So it does not make any assumptions from the beginning. In other programming languages, you, you are able to specify exactly what type of variable will have in advance. Python does not do this. So the error handling is also a little bit different, as you can see, which is why it makes a lot of sense to give variables good names. And then when we want a special kind of function to work, when we want to do a concatenation, or if we just want to pass it to another function, which expects an integer, then it's best to do explicit type casting, which is by simply putting it through another function, like float or int, 